Hey, my name is Marcus and I'd like to welcome you to the basics tutorial of GLayers 2. To open up GLayers, go to the Windows menu and under Extensions you find GLayers 2. There we go. The basic building block of each GLayers 2 project is a map comp. A map comp is a composition filled with online imagery tiles. So to do so, you click this little plus and the Create Map Comp dialog pops up. Um, type in a name for your map. All the other settings that you can set up here are not that important now. I'm going to um, talk about them later in this tutorial. First, click Create. All right, GeoLayers created three layers in the composition. So the first one is the map comp, my first map. Second layer is a text layer that holds the attribution for the map. The third layer is a logo. It depends on the server profile if this is loaded or not. For now, I just switch them off. Now we have our map here and you can, of course, scroll around, zoom around. There we go. On our map comp, we have three properties, which is the latitude, the longitude and the zoom that controls the map animation. So let's say I want to have a zoom onto Spain right here. So I go to five seconds, click this little keyframe icon, and you can see that keyframes on this properties are created. Now I go a bit more before, and by clicking this button beneath the zoom in and zoom out, it will center the map. So we created our first animation, a zoom in to Spain. Let's easy ease that you see that there's like, it looks pretty awkward and the quality is not good. When you're done with your animation, you need to finalize your map. Do this by clicking the finalize button. GLayers will now analyze your map animation and download all the imagery that is needed for this. And it will then add blend animations between the zoom levels of the imagery. It will also replace the text and provider attribution according to the imagery you downloaded. There we go. Map is finalized. You can um, have a look here. The server profile is being aerial. It's finalized with 70% of quality and it's all in all 254 tiles. Zoom levels are blended over smooth and you can see the animation is now fluid. You have some options on the finalization. So by right clicking this button, this little dialog pops up and you can set up a analyzation accuracy. This means if you put this to 100%, every frame in your composition is going to be analyzed. Do this on projects with very, very quick zooms. Otherwise, 50%, 50 to 60% is pretty okay. The next thing is the finalization mode. You can either finalize the selected map comp, you can finalize map comps that are linked to this map comp, or you can finalize all the map comps in the project. For now, finalize it's okay. You can also use a global finalization quality. So if you check this, the map comp is not going to be finalized in the quality that is set up for itself, but with the quality that you set up here. All these specific settings for your map comp, you can find under the Edit Map Comp button. Clicking this, this dialog pops up. And you can now change your server profile. Let's say I want to have a Mapbox street style now. You can again link it you can use motion tile effect to fill gaps between tiles. Use this if small lines appear on the tile borders. You can tell the map comp to blend zoom levels or not. If you do so, you can set up a duration in frames. So let's say I'm gonna have it in 10 frames. And you can set the individual finalization quality of the map comp. Hitting apply, we're going to see our map comp in a different style. 
ng layers downloaded another logo. The second button in the map comp bar is the remove button. Always remove map comps using this button because GeoLayers then will also delete the tiles from your project. And that's it. You learned how to create, animate, and finalize map comps in GeoLayers 2. Have a good day. Bye.